We got a lot of high winds all day and now we have clouds rolling in. It's only like four o'clock in the afternoon. It's getting dark. I've had to turn the lights on inside. But outside, I'm keeping it candid with you. I'm keeping it 100. Last night, after I got done running around, I came home. It was too dark to see anything out in the garden to do anything. Um, but I did find some ripe tomatillos that fell to the ground and a small one of those Southport white globe onions that I was gro growing, excuse me. Um, but I'm not John from Will It Grow and he grows amazing onions. It's my first year growing onions and honestly it's a waste of space in my garden because, yeah. Anyway, um, it was small. It was like that big around. But I'm going to add them to my broths. Uh, I did find another, I don't know if that's a Jing orange okra or a red burgundy or whatever. I don't know which, which is which. So I found more okra, which is cool. And it's getting ready to rain. The neighbors said hail. Either way, so now I got four. This one, these definitely look like Clemson spineless, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong because uh, they're not fully grown yet. Anyway, I've got this started on weeding. I'm trying to weed around the butternut squash now. I've got that all weeded. And like I said, I want to plant out a bunch of root crops. I also have kale and lettuce I want to grow. And I might go ahead and put those in the greenhouse and overwinter them in there. Uh, we'll just have to see how the space and everything plays out. Mm, but I'm excited uh, about how it's looking and it's looking like, yes, come out here and sow some seeds and everything needs water so it needs to rain. It's only supposed to be a half inch, but whatever. And I did spray the fungicide on my bush beans too because they were getting satoria leaf spot. And it's basically stopped and the, the leaves are getting greener and obviously the blue is still sticking on there. So I think once I spray at least the southern ag and it's, let me, let me explain the fungicide more. It's not really a bunch of chemicals per se, like Monsanto chemicals. Copper is a natural um, metal, right? You don't want too much copper in your diet. So the point of not overspraying your plants because everything you put on your plants like fluoride, chlorine, all of that stuff, pesticides, herbicides, it grows into your plants and then you eat it. So if you don't want, if you're not supposed to have too much copper in your system, then even though it is a natural metal found in the earth, you don't want to overspray them, but it works. And there's nothing wrong. In fact, it's healthy to have a little bit of copper in your system. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's why I decided to go with it. I, you know, I'm an advocate against not putting chemicals on my plants. It's, you know, it's just not necessary all the time. But these are the dragon tongue bush beans. And they are super prolific. Let me tell you what, I just picked these yesterday. And there's more, 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 more. See all of them? And when they hit the sun, they get these beautiful purple streaks on them, even more so than this one. They end up cooking yellow. And they're considered a wax bean, but they taste like green beans. So I really, really love those bush beans. And I'm gonna grow those every single year because I love them so much. Um, so I guess it's another mini garden tour slash follow up on the fungicide thing. I just want to keep it candid with you. I did not get to water or spray fungicide last night and now it's going to rain. And the manufacturer's instructions say on the fungicide that you should spray the fungicide under 90 degrees Fahrenheit and um, before 24 hours of your next rain. And I knew the forecast on several uh, sources were calling for rain today. I didn't know. It was dark out. And honestly, I just thought it was best to wait. I already have uh, produce on there. I want to save the little bit of winter squash I've got. But if it means I don't, I don't. 
because my acorn squash, I think I've pulled off everything that I can so far, but I want to spray the fungicide and try to keep those plants going for sure. And look, I got more Amish paste out there to pick. Um, I mean, the tomatoes are booming and a lot of other things are booming. Squash just isn't this year and that's okay. I did clear out some of those brassicas that just went to crap, like the bro broccoli and cauliflower. Those just had to go. I'm not even sure what this plant is. I just figured let it go and see what it is. But I think I want to finish this whole row out with the Detroit red and then those golden beets that I've got. We really love the pickled beets I made and we really would love to have more. So I think I want to do that. I also have rutabaga seeds. Um, I got to fit those in somewhere. And what are the, oh, I got the Kyoto red carrots that are supposed to be amazing for a fall crop. That's why Baker Creek heirloom seeds sent them to me free. They said they're amazing fall crop. I got to fit those in somewhere. So, yes, <laughs> this is the conundrum I'm at. I got to clear up the space, see what I got, see what I'm working with. I might end up redirecting this butternut squash vines over the fence. I mean, I'll mow around it. That's not a problem. Uh, but I have to have garden space, you know? <laughs> hey, look, it's another volunteer tomatillo. Goodness gracious, they just pop up everywhere. They must have, they were definitely a hit last year and well, they love my conditions. So I guess I'm a tomatillo grower this year? Question mark, question mark. Uh, so, yeah, I hope, ooh, I'm stepping on crunchy brassica leaves. Oh, that's from the calabos cabbage that I pulled off yesterday. Yeah, I'm throwing all my weeds out here to kind of suppress the grass. I'm taking all the weeds and stuff and chucking it out here and saying, screw the grass. I don't want you out here anyway. So that's what's going on. And I hope you learned something and find encouragement from this video because God is blessing me. Um, even though I've ne neglected the garden and I'm able to come out here now. The weather's beautiful for now and he's just giving me abundance even though I've been busy with life and helping others. Uh, so yeah, just want to let you know you don't have to be perfect to grow food. And with that note, I love you and so does Jesus. God bless.